So I installed this Willwood master cylinder a few months ago and I plumbed all new hard lines and still was having a really hard time getting a good pedal out of it. <clears throat> I sort of felt like the first few inches of travel with the pedal I had nothing at all. There was a little bit of resistance. It just felt like air in the lines and I uh, couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Um, posted on, I, I looked all over the internet, posted on a few forums and uh, somebody on the Chevelle site said uh, check the, the booster pin to mass, master cylinder uh, depth. And, uh, you know, I've changed up a bunch of master cylinders. I've done a few on this car. It's a 72 Chevelle. Um, and I never had to do anything like that. I just figured, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a pioneer here. I'm, I'm putting a Willwood master cylinder on, a, on an old GM, right? Um, and I had no clue, but it looks like this, uh, this pin here is actually, you can pull this thing all the way out. And this thing's adjustable. Let me see if I can get this thing in focus here. So you can see it's got a little wrench flat on it there. And I've adjusted it up about as close as I think it needs to go. Um, but I actually ended up ordering a tool that you can check the, uh, the gap in between the top of this pin and then inside of the master cylinder there where it actually contacts the piston. Um, so I'm just going to show you. I just received it today and uh, put the link in the description or whatever. Um, but it's like a pretty, pretty solid looking thing. It's about 30 bucks on eBay. And, uh, hopefully this will save somebody else some headaches. Cause you know, the, the Willwood, uh, like there's nothing on the site about adjusting that pin. Uh, I really didn't see it mentioned too many places and I had seen one of these tools before, but you know, I figured, uh, I never had to adjust the, the booster pin on the master cylinder. And I heard about boosters where it's non-adjustable and, um, you have to grind it down, but this thing's just a remand. I think it's a, yeah, it's like a Cardone or something like that. I got it from Lord Co. up here in Canada. Um, but yeah, so basically, <coughs> you just take the, the pointy side for the pin, and yeah, you can do this without having the master cylinder hooked up. It would probably be easier, or you could do it even without this tool, like if you had a straight edge and some calipers. But you just take this pin, you set it down, and the piston the master cylinder and then this piece here and you can see it's pretty much touching I've already adjusted it and, but if I wanted it to go out a little bit further and just pull that out put one side in the soft jaws and the vise and then just you know turn it counterclockwise to bring it closer to the booster pin um, and then you know once I adjusted that I noticed it was way better in the car like the first little bit I was feeling, I felt some resistance and I could still get a bleed out of it, but it wasn't good. And, and it, 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 all I was feeling was the spring inside the, the booster. Um, and it was just driving me crazy. Like I got the thing bled. I bench bled the master twice and I just couldn't figure it out. And it turns out all that is. So it says, um, you know, you're supposed to have a tiny little gap in between these two because you want the, uh, you want the master to return to, um, return to, uh, you know, it's resting position. You don't want any tension on the master while it's just sitting there. Um, so yeah, just make sure you get this piece adjusted correctly. Hopefully this will save somebody a bit of a headache because this thing really threw me for a loop. Um, so it should work on, you know, any GM vehicle. It might work on Fords. I don't know if they have adjustable uh, booster pins or what the deal is, but I know that this piece isn't advertised specifically as a GM piece. It's supposed to be like a universal. This is the tandem master cylinder with the adjustable proportioning valve. So hopefully that helps somebody else out. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.